there, Cody or Skip here from Now to Cody. I'm going to show you another little video here, something that I think you're, uh, uh, for those of you that are into, uh, I'm into what's called home theater PCs. Um, and uh, often you there, you, you want to set up a whole bunch of different things on your uh, system. So I thought I'd show you something that, uh, just to show, at least introduce you to them, is you can set up all your video settings and your audio settings, many of which are uh, a little more advanced than others. But uh, here's, I just thought I'd give you the quick basics. So, let's start off with the video output. Now, quick rundown here. Uh, display mode. Uh, should be pretty straightforward. Windowed. See, it brings it down so you can I can do other things. Or full screen. Alright. Number two. Change setting your resolution. Uh, obviously... You want some high quality, you want to set your highest resolution. So I've got this thing maxed out. Uh, full screen window. Blanking other displays. Uh, if you've got, uh, say if you're using, uh, you've got a computer setup, you've got multiple screens set up, uh, then when you start start uh, using this, the other screens will be blanked out. That way you kind of get that home theater feel. So otherwise, uh, uh, for you 3D, uh, 3D uh, TV owners, this one here. Uh, this is where you're going to have to check into your uh, check into your manual how to set it up uh, for di for different ways for setting up your 3D. Uh, really great. Uh, preferred mode, same as movie. Uh, again, you have to set all these up. Uh, I wouldn't worry about the vertical blank screen. Video calibration. Um, I'm staying away from this one. I've had trouble with this. I don't know why. Um, Sometimes I guess some, basically is you can adjust the screen a little bit. Uh, but I I, <laughs> I just stay away from it quite frankly because um, I had trouble. Actually, I, I'll tell you, I had trouble exiting it. It just wouldn't exit. So, uh, oh shoot! Pardon me. I hit the wrong thing there. Test patterns. Hardware for har calibrating hardware. Sometimes you want to set your blacks and your whites and stuff. So using uh, the internal settings of this, then you can change the external settings of the actual TV itself. Color range. Uh, if you're not using, if, if you want to limit the color range uh, if you're, for an older TV. But here's my favorite is the safe zone. Resetting the above settings to default. Okay. Okay. Um, this is your out. So you can try some things and experiment. So, next thing, audio. Uh, myself, like I said, home theater PC. I'm running. A, I'm running all my uh, stuff through a surround sound unit. This, uh, this, uh, depending on how your how your setup is. So, uh, audio device. Uh, as you can see, I've got, I'm running an AMD HDMI. I uh, to, for mine. So I'm just going to go direct sound on that. Uh, there is a there this this uh, W A, -A S A P I. Uh, I've tried it. I didn't like it, uh, and I'll tell you why. Is it uh, it interfered with all the other settings on my on my home theater PC? Uh, I yeah. So you know what? I don't rec really recommend it. Google it. Read up on it if you'd like to. Uh, if you're interested in it, but my recommended settings. Stay away from it. It's uh, it's not really that great. Number of channels that you have. Again, uh, just to, so this is one you got to pay attention to. I'm running a 5.1 system right now. I hope in the very near future to upgrade up to a 7.1. Uh, five. Let's let's go over this. So for you people that may not know, the point one, that second number, that is if you have a subwoofer. Uh, the f and then the first number is how number of speakers. So I have a 5.1 channel. I have a center channel. I have two fronts and two rears. Sevens, uh, is for just to answer your question, is there are two on the side in the middle? Uh, 3.1 is just the three in the front. Uh, really nice, especially if you have a sound bar. Um, <clears throat> so th uh, there we go. So I'm setting currently mine is a 5.1 setup. You want to set up for setting up the uh, output configuration. You want to optimize it, best match or fixed. Uh, I'm I'm I want it optimized, quite frankly. Uh, 
the, everything's set up at the beginning uh, and not change if the, it, it won't change if the uh, the source changes. So it's just gonna it's set up very nicely. Up mix uh, if you got if you're running two channel audio, maintain the original volume. Um, it's kind of nice. Uh, you maintain control of the volume. A lot of these, there are a lot. Uh, keeping your audio device alive. Mine will actually time out and shut off the speakers. Uh, <clears throat> let's see. Uh, eight channel digital theater system. Ooh, that would be nice to have. Um, that's about everything there uh, that you'd really want to pay attention to, folks. And again, very, down here at the bottom, you can set everything back to default that uh, this is really great if you find that you just didn't like the way things or something's not right something's not working well so there you go folks a uh, quick run through of the video and audio uh, settings on your PC uh, oops for for actually sorry this is a, this works for the PC this works for your Android boxes this works for the fire stick uh, just make sure that you have it set up to work best with your system the best. So there you go. Have yourself a great day and happy coding.